Welcome back, laws of the indices. We're doing the first law of the indices. And if I just go back very quickly to the previous video, we've said, well, if the bases are the same and you are multiplying, then you add the indices, yeah? So, for instance, y to the power three times y to the power two, the base is the same, the answer is y to the power five, okay? So make sure you have seen my previous videos explaining this law. These are some example questions, six in total. And perhaps you want to pause the video now and try them yourself first, after which you continue looking at this video for the answers. Okay, well, I'm going to start now. Hopefully you've tried it yourself. Uh, I'm going uh, to give those answers relatively quickly, okay? X to the power five times X to the power two. The bases are the same. You are multiplying first law of the indices. The answer is X to the power seven, because that actually means X times X times X times X times X times x times x, x to the power seven. And then the first one, a to the power seven times a. Hang on a minute, those bases are the same, multiplying. But what do I add? Seven plus, what is the index of a? Well, that is to the power of one. So the answer is a to the power eight. But we never write to the power one. We could put to the power one everywhere, yeah? But we don't, we only write the index if it is something else in one, so for instance, a two, so x to the power two. But if it says just x or a, that means a to the power one or x to the power one. So the answer here is a to the power eight because a times 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 a is a to the power eight, all right? Remember that, careful. Okay, and now here, five a to the power two times two a to the power five b. This is how you approach it, yeah? This all means, if you like, if you would rewrite it, yeah, it means five times a squared times two times a to the power five times b. There are time signs, uh, times signs everywhere, yeah? But we usually don't write them because we're a little bit lazy. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with being a bit lazy once in a while. Okay, now I shake it up. Yeah, I rearrange it, then I could write, so, five times two times a to the power two times a to the power five times b. Okay, now, equals, I'll put the answer there, five times two is 10, a to the power seven b. So that will be the answer. So you multiply those numbers, yeah, and you glue the letters if you like, yeah? So 10, because that means five times two, 10. A squared times a to the power five is a to the power seven, yeah, the same base, so you add the indices, times b. Yeah, b is a little bit lonely there by itself, but there's no other term with a b. Okay, so do I write it out like this every time? Absolutely not, but I realize I do five times two, 10. A two times A five, uh, A to the power two times A to the power five, A to the power seven, B. All right, I'm going to continue because uh, I'm talking too much probably. PS times PS, who's got an answer there? Yeah, what are the indices here? What is the in index of P? Because this also means, PS means P times S, times P times S. Now I'm pretty sure you see the answer already, because what is the answer then? That's P to the power two, S to the power two. That's an S by the way, yeah? P to the power two, S to the power two. Because again, the indices here are all one. Well, we never write when it's to the power one, because everything is to the power one, unless we write a two or a five, and it's to the power two, or to the power five. All right, let's continue. The next one. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, so I multiply those numbers, minus four times three, which is minus 12. X squared times something else with an X. No, there's no base there with an X, so X squared Y. Minus 12 X squared Y. That's the answer to question five. And just to make absolutely sure, question six, that you understand what you're doing, the first law of the indices, when the bases are the same and you're multiplying, you add the indices because this means, again, five times five times five times five times five times five times five to the power seven. If I am adding, 
Yeah, that is a complete different question. It's got nothing to do with this law of the indices. Y to the power of 4 plus Y to the power of 3, the answer is Y to the power of 4 plus Y to the power of 3. Because I cannot add these two terms because they are not like terms. The powers are not the same. Yeah? So please still distinguish between adding and multiplying. Okay? Although those bases are the same, when I'm adding, I cannot add that. that that's impossible. When I'm multiplying, first law of the indices. Okay, it's time to go to the second law of the indices. I'll see you there.